Guys, we are with Matt Blake, and Matt, I'll, I'll tell you what, you haven't even coached the game yet, and you became a much better pitching coach. No doubt about that. That was uh, something that Cash reiterated about taking advantage of my experience to give me some better tools, so I appreciate for that. What was the process like in getting hired as the pitching coach? Um, so obviously, they, you know, with being with another club, they had to call over and ask for permission, and so it was, you know, having a chance to sit down and talk to Chris Antonetti with the Indians about the opportunity, and you know, obviously coming over here to learn more about the Yankees because I was in a, you know, nice situation with Cleveland, but obviously this is, you know, a shiny object as far as you know, one of the pinnacle positions in the game. So just learning more about the vision they had for the organization and maybe what they were looking for in their next pitching coach. Obviously being a you know, non-traditional hire. So I was kind of get a sense of like, is this going to work? Is it going to work with Booney? And I think that was one of the things that really um, clicked between him and I is just the, the vision we had for the type of culture we're trying to create. All right, now, Matt, you were front and center in that four-and-a-half-hour presentation in Garrett Cole's home. Take me in that room. What was your part of it? What did you talk to him about? I think it was just trying to help him understand where I might be coming from if you know if this is going to be a you know seven eight nine year partnership that he was going to have access to the tools that he needed and the information that he needed to help kind of just facilitate his process his, his work on a daily basis and you know obviously he's in the prime of his career but o over the course of this contract there's going to be time that we need to continue to keep him who he is so I think giving him comfort that we were going to be on the same page about the things we value and kind of partner on. Aaron Boone just said Garrett Cole obviously has been great throughout the course yeah. of his career, but he thinks there might even be another level. Yeah. Do you think there's another level for Garrett Cole? Yeah, I think you like to believe so. Obviously, he's been at the you know the peak of his talent right now, and you think there's another level we can get to is you, know, you want to spend some time and learn like what it is that he's currently doing and kind of help him understand like where some efficiencies or inefficiencies might lie within that process. But I think the thing to be mindful of is you don't have to do too much with him. It's more just keep him who he is, and then in our environment, hopefully that takes him to that next level. Now, the pitching coach obviously is not the, the painting. You're more the guy who puts the frame around it. Yeah. But is there a lot of stress to you now because you're being asked to put a frame around the Mona Lisa. Yeah, I think it could be, you know, if you let it get to you. I think that's part of the, the deal you signed up for by coming on with the Yankees. There's always going to be pressure and expectations to be, you know, one of the elite clubs um, around the league. So I think, like Garrett said, it's a privilege to be in this position to be able to work with a player of his caliber. And I think, you know, just the, the conversations we'll be willing to have between him and I to make sure that he's comfortable with the, the work that we're doing and then I can give him feedback on his process. I think it is uh, uh, going to be a great partnership in that way. What stood out to you about Cole when you were in that meeting with him? You know, it was an opportunity to kind of pick his brain a little bit on what he's learned about himself over the last, you know, maybe five or six years, and in particular the last two as he came over to um, Houston. And I think just the his understanding of himself and what makes him successful was really impressive. Um, sometimes guys are just good because they have talent. He has obviously, you know, taken that to another level and learned a lot about himself and what makes him good. So I think that combination is really important. Take me inside your process because we need to know about Matt Blake yeah. as well. Yep. You, you've never done this as a major league pitching coach uh, are you more a guy who deals with the mechanics or the mind or is it a little bit of both I'd, I'd say I'm probably a, a generalist in that sense I kind of get painted as a, an analytics guy which is you know fair because I've embraced that in Cleveland but I think my background was more of a technician in the mechanics and learning about the body and then my backgrounds in psychology so I think I try and take all the pieces and just figure out you know where is our greatest window of adaptation with each player is it on his mindset is it on his delivery is it in his work is it in his analytical understanding so you know wherever that piece might lie with the pitcher we try and tap into that I'm, I'm interested though with the psychology aspect of it do you believe that most mistakes made on a baseball field are mechanical or mental I think there's probably a, a mind-body connection to some extent like if your mind is not in the right place to focus on the task at hand it becomes a mechanical issue but um, there are also things that you are just physically unable to do so we need to work around those things so I think understanding the combination of the the mind and the body and how the interplay works is uh, obviously really important when do you start reaching out to guys when do you get going here. Yep. So right after um, I signed on, um, I started reaching out to a lot of the 40-man guys to at least open up the lines of communication and get an understanding of where they're at and what they're thinking and you know, at least give them the opportunity to express anything they have on their mind. And I'll probably start to visit a lot of them right after the first of the year. All right, Matt. So if you ever get boring and you want to practice the psychological stuff, I'm the one. Believe me, I'm the one. <laughs> All right, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right. That's the